Okay, so today is a happy day because Indiana, if you live in Indiana, you have not been able to get the Sephora Play Box until apparently this is the first month. So I got my Sephora Play Box. It came out of the bank, like it, they take the money out between the first and the third, and you get your box around the 20th. So that's what happened. Um, there was a big fiasco with the post office. It sat in Gary, Indiana for four days not being processed because it's shipped with UPS and then it's transferred to the post office. And the post office lady got really, really nasty with me telling me that we don't have it, UPS has it, and uh, I live 30 minutes away from Gary. And... Uh, and I'm um, like, no, UPS says, it says right here on the tracking that it was transferred to you guys. Transferred means they no longer have it. So I had to call Sephora, get a UP, USPS tracking number because it wasn't showing up on the thing. Only the UPS one was. And then when I got that, the lady got real nasty with me. She looked it up. She had this paper, but she wouldn't show it to me and she wouldn't let me have it. And then I came home and called UPS. And UPS said, no, four days ago, we gave it to Gary office. We do not have your package at all. They do. And then magically, that afternoon, it ended up in Valparaiso post office. And I got it the next day. But the lady lied to me and was really nasty to me. And it was just the whole fiasco. And I was like, this is my first month getting to for a play. Like, don't mess with my spore box. Like, people cannot mess with my makeup. So, this is the box, and it's super cute. It says play on it. It's got, you know, the original black and white, and I'm in love. So, we're going to go ahead and open it up. I have opened it up because I've already seen what was inside. So, this is what it looks like, and it's $10 a month, and then whatever your state tax is, mine is 7%. So, it's like ten seventy is what comes out of my bank account. So the first thing we have is this little booklet, and it has everything in it that's inside. I don't want to show you, no sneak peeks, but it'll tell you everything. They also have, like, where you can go on the app and you can play with it, play with the products in here. And this little card right here, because once a month I do go into Sephora and I buy at least one thing. Um, this gives you an extra 50 points with the purchase of anything. You can, And then it tells you on the back of here, it says July 2016, um, show this play pass to the store and receive expert advice and 50 extra beauty insider points with any purchase. And then it says on the back, in the box, and it tells you everything that's in the box and how much it costs. So if you really like something, because these are all like deluxe, size like sample sizes like ipsy um but they're all carried by sephora so it's all high end always ne never like city color never like anything about it. like it's always high end but it tells you everything that's in your box so that if you liked it and you couldn't remember you can take the card and be like oh yeah i want this and you know how much it is and whatnot and then you give this to them it, this does expire by August 31st, 2016, so you have, like, a month to use it. Yeah. And then your points will show up within 24 hours. So that's perfect because around the first of the month I go in, so that's great. And then I will show you this booklet as soon as I show you the products because I don't want to spoil what's going on. But um, it's called Effortless is what the theme is this month, an Effortless Summer. And I like the little, like, popsicle design, and, you know, it's just all cute. Well, then it comes in this cute little bag, and it is adorable. It has a little popsicle and a little kiss and a little lips on it, and it says Sephora Play. And I like that this is different because it's, you know, like, and it's pretty well-made bag. I don't know what I'll put in it, but I'm going to definitely save them. They're different than, like, regular makeup bags. I mean, they're really, really cute. So, like, I guess, like, if you're shipping something to one of your friends, um, or if, you know, you're just going to give something away to somebody real quick, like, oh, I'll give it to my mom, I'll just send it in this, or, let, you know, whatever. But, you know, it's just, it's just a cute little bag, and I like that it's different. It's not a regular makeup bag. Like, everybody's doing, you know, Lip Monthly does a makeup bag. 
and Ipsy does a makeup bag, and I think there was somebody else that did a makeup bag that I was subscribed to, so I was getting like three different bags a month. So this is kind of different and cute. I just took all the products out. So let's start with, they will always give you a little perfume sample, but this is like the sixth item. It doesn't count towards your five. You get five items, and they will give you a perfume sample, and it doesn't count towards your five items. This is always going to be a six. And this one is Nest Citrine. I've had a Nest before, and I liked it. And this smells really good. It's very citrusy, like orangey and lemon. So I do like it. So that is really awesome. So that I do like, and I will use. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I have like 3 million. Ooh, that perfume just keeps getting better and better. Um, I have like 300 of these. This will probably go in the giveaway box. I'm not a huge fan because I have dry skin. This one kind of just dries me out because it's that silicone based one. So this I will be going in the giveaway. I'm not upset that I have it. I'm not upset. I'm not, you know, none of that. Um, I also have this too, but I will keep it because it's, you know, facial cleanser. So it's First Aid Beauty. Um, just, you know, their First Aid Beauty face cleanser with antioxidant booster. Um, I have one of these already. I use, I have this size of their um, moisturizer and I use it that every day. So I like it. So, I mean, this will get used up. I put the little bottles in the shower and I use big bottles of face wash, you know, at the sink. So this will get used. This I've never heard of. I don't know how to say the name. Is it Wea or We or what? I don't know. But it is hair care. It's wave spray. And I think I'm actually going to keep this one. This is for days where you just kind of like spritz it in your hair and kind of maybe scrunch a little bit and just kind of get a little wave going on. And I think I'm going to try it out. If it doesn't work for me since I have really curly hair, my mom has wavy hair instead of curly, so I might pass it on to her if it doesn't work. But I'm definitely going to give it a shot. I've never heard of the brand, and I'm pretty interested. The next thing we got is the Beauty Blender Blotterazzi. And I didn't know that I thought these were blotting sheets. I didn't realize that it's like a legitimate sponge. Oh, and it comes with a cleanser too. Look, it comes with a little sample cleanser, which I have a sample cleanser and two little bottles of cleanser. So that works really well. But it's like a little like sponge and you use it dry and blot your face, which I might do right now because I'm feeling kind of oily and stuff. It's hot outside. It's kind of warm in here. Um, it's a blotting cushion that's game changeable, game changing, washable, reusable alternative to blotting papers. It's made out of the iconic Beauty Blender pink material. When used to dry, which is thirsty, Blotterazzi allows for precise cushion blotting and touch ups. Shape to fit um, all contours of the face without disturbing your makeup. When used with the blending cleanser, one sponge lasts 30 to 45 days with gentle regu regular cleansing. So this is just a sample. So that's really cool. I thought when they came out with the Blotterazzi, I thought they were blotting papers and I wasn't going to pay a ton of money for blotting papers when I get them all the time for free or from Elf for a dollar or whatever. So let's see how this works. I can feel dampness and I can feel, I've been feeling a little greasy today. It doesn't show anything on here, but it is getting, like, the sponge is getting, you know, like, a little, a little wet. So you can kind of feel it. So that's really, really cool. Um, I wish it came in a case so I could keep it in my purse. I think I'm going to keep this case. And I really like that it did come with a sample of the cleanser. That's really nice. I do have another sample of the cleanser like actually in this package and then two little mini bottles that Sephora has given me. So that is really awesome and yeah like that does a good job. So I'm kind of impressed with this. I didn't know. Okay so cool. And then the last thing we have which I'm so excited about is the Do The Hula um, face bronzer. It's where is it? Believe it. 
this bronze uh, year round glow with, without the gleam. So does that mean it's a, it's a soft matte liquid bronzer for the face? So it is in a little bottle, a little pump bottle, which is fine because I have so many bronzers, I don't mind the sample sizes. And I've, I've been curious about this. So let's see how dark it is. We're going to, oh, that's a lot that came out just now for just sampling. Okay. Oh, it's really kind of like, it's not thick. It's pretty thin, so you can really work with it. But it does have that orangey color to it. Do not forget, this is a full pump. Like, I would not even put this much on my face. And now I'm going to have to, like, take it off. Now, like, tan as hell on the back of my hand and, like, not. Okay, we are going to rub the shit out of this and rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. See, you can really, okay, look, look how good. Just rubbing it in, it's not bad. Like, it gave me, you can tell my skin's a little bit tanner versus, you know, the rest of my skin. So, um, my suggestion would be um, maybe half a pump or get a little jar and just do a full pump in the jar and then just use a little bit out of the jar for a couple days because that was a pretty big pump and that was a lot of bronzer. Um, but it does rub in really nice. It's kind of like, I like the coverage it has because you can blend it out and it's not too much. It's a little sticky right now, but... Um, it's nice. I, I'm happy to try this. I've been using the Bare Minerals, um, the liquid one that you just shake up and it's like the sheer one because it's like perfect. I dump a little bit on my hand. It's real liquidy and I just swirl my brush in it and then I just, you know, I contour with it and it's like the perfect sheer contour for my white skin. And I've actually gotten a little bit darker this summer because I've been outside a lot, even though I'm not supposed to be because I'm allergic to the sun. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, but, oh, I think I messed my bag up. I think I lost a, here we go. But, um, definitely give it a shot. I think, I, th I like that it's little. I like that I can, um, just try it out. It's better than, I've seen the big, huge bottle that comes with a sponge where you can do, like, your whole body. I won't do that. Because I don't do the self-tanner stuff. I don't do the regular tanning. I just, whatever. But this is nice for contouring. And I think it'll work well. I mean, like, it blended into the skin really well. Look at the back of my hand. Like, you can't even, you can't tell that I'm, I'm like, brown or orange or anything like that. But compared to my other hand, you can tell there's a difference. So, this was a pretty good play box. The only thing I have already is the, um... Well, I have the face wash, but I will use that. That's not, that'll get used like crazy. Um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I, I, I get samples of that like crazy. Like every time I go in there, they throw it in my bag. And it just doesn't work with my skin. Because even in the summertime, I get like dry patches like right in here. And like I used that with Kat Von D um, uh, foundation. And it was just dry patches like right here like. So, you know, I'm like, nope, okay, nope, we, I don't, I'm not doing that primer. I need one that's like a lotion primer that moisturizes. So, that'll end up in a giveaway for you guys. But other than that, um, you can go to Sephora, you can sign up. I don't know if they have a wait list anymore, just like search Sephora Play or whatever. And um, I don't know if there's a wait list. I know I was on the wait list since the first box came out. Actually, I was on the wait list before the first box came out. And this is the first month that I've got it. And they've had, um, they had them numbered, I thought. I don't know. Oh, let me show you the book. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just says July 2016, so I don't know what number it is. But it shows you all the products in here. And it says uh, you can visit Sephora.com slash play to watch videos about products that are used. And it tells you everything about every product in here. You know, it gives you a little um, about the brand, about the product, you know, which is, is pretty nice. 
So that's awesome. That's better information than my Foxy Charm and Ipsy. Ipsy doesn't give you any information. But so for $10 a month plus tax, you know, it's free shipping. I am going to stick with it. I really like it. I, I, I get like deluxe size samples from them anyways. But like there's a lot of stuff in here that I would have never gotten from my store. The only one that I have gotten from my store is the face wash and the, um, well, the beauty blender cleaner and the, uh, primer. Like the hair thing, the butter Oxy, and the Hula bronzer, they don't give those out as like, you know, free samples or, you know, whatever, or free with purchase at the store. So you get different things to try. So I'm pretty excited and uh, I'm really happy about this play box. And I've gone on about it for over 15 minutes now. So I will see you guys later.